Anurag, thanks uh, Exchange for Media. Thank you for this. It feels really good to get this award. Uh, uh, it's been a long journey, uh, 11 years. Uh, up 2011, we started this business, about 14 years now. Uh, a difficult business, a tough business, dealing with all kinds of perishables, products, and finally had to get all of this fresh to, uh, to every home. Uh, just feels nice, and so thank you very much. And you know, Hari, you started Fab Mart in 1999, right? Uh, when I was in the business school, they used to say there's an early mover advantage. Do you believe in an early mover advantage, or do you move in a, believe in a late mover advantage? For Fab Mart? Yeah. Are you talking about Fab Mart? Fab Mart was, was very, very early, actually. Ahead and, of its uh, time. Yeah, it was 1999 that we started Fab Mart. Uh, and I must tell you this little story about, you know, how we used to actually accept payments uh, when we were actually doing FabMart. Uh, you know, at that time, there were no payment gateways and we were uh, courageous enough to go and start an online business which actually accepts payments online. And there was not a single bank that allowed us to actually, you know, get payments online. So there was no payment gateway. So we used to have a set of people sitting in the office who used to take card numbers of customers also ask the customer for the CVV number and then authorize the payment. And it was that risky. And very soon we had uh, the newspapers talking about how risky it is to, to basically shop online. And so it was that early, uh, you know, that we started. Um, of course, the business pivoted and we went through, you know, multiple pivots at that, at that point in time, became physical and then um, ended up being a large physical grocery chain. Uh, which then got acquired by the Aditya Birla group, which you, what, what you see now as stores which are called more. Thank you, Hari. Uh, Hari, we know that the India digital store is only growing. The consumption online is growing and uh, habits have changed, so to say. Covid changed the habits. Where do you see the online space, especially in the e-commerce space, going forward in the next three, six years? I think one big change that, that, that's happened now, and, uh, and I think this will sustain for um, a much longer time uh, to come, is basically, I think, deliveries and quick commerce, which is, which is really the, the, the trend that's coming in, is, is really going to be here and here to stay. And that's going to be one big large trend that you're going to see. Essentially, people are go you know, going to be wanting products much faster, and especially the grocery space, what that, what that does is the olden days of buying groceries in the beginning of the month and then stocking them um, you know, through the month or buying it through the week is all gone. So you just buy what you want and you get, the, get your products in 10-15 minutes. This is now going to go to other categories, electronics, everything else, apparel, etc. is all going to now come into this whole quick commerce uh, piece. And you'll see essentially speed of delivery becoming a critical, critical piece. And you'll see that's the direction that essentially e-commerce is going to take going forward. Um, it's, still, it's still small. Um, if you look at grocery, e-commerce is just, online business is just 1% of the entire business. But that's going to scale and I think by 2030 it's expected to be anywhere between 8 to 10% and that's a very large business that's, that's really coming up. And a single biggest thing there is that speed is going to be essential for every company, anybody who gets in there, um, it's all going to be about speed of delivery that you'll see going forward. Ari, my last question. What has changed since Tata's took over Big Basket? Has anything changed? Uh, <laughs> operationally, nothing has changed and that's the way Tata's operate. They actually, uh, they operate through the board and they give freedom, they give, uh, they give a long rope for, for companies to operate the way they were operating and that's, and hence, from an operations perspective, nothing has changed. But what has really changed is that it's really brought the Tata name to us. And one of the things that Tata's name is associated with is essentially trust. And it's so important for any business to actually create trust amongst consumers. And that brand coming to you, it comes naturally and comes automatically. And that's the single biggest change that we see. Uh, you know, I think the name has added a lot of value uh, to us. But operationally, there's no change. We just operate the way we were. You know, I said last, but I can't let you go without a... You know, you started in 99 and Fab Mart was ahead of time. You 
did Big Basket in 2011 and we are in 2024 and it's, again you were ahead of time so to say. Are there new ideas that Hari Menon is incubating or working on? No Anurag, actually I think uh, <laughs> there, are, there are new ideas I'm going to work on but um, I'm, I'm 63 now and uh, will hopefully kind of you know come out of, of transactional stuff soon. Uh, but what I'm going to do going forward is, uh, I'm very clear, is that, and, and I don't know when, because uh, there's still time for me to, uh, to kind of start doing what I want to do, is to do something in the space of music. Actually, I run a, a music studio, um, you know, which my son runs, actually, where we do a lot of recording and stuff. Music is, I'm very passionate about uh, music, and I'm going to do something in that space going forward, and that's what I'm going to build. Thank you so much. Please give Mr. Hari Manan a big round of applause. He's our Idma person of the year. Thank you, Hari.